Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an unboxing or I guess a haul video to share with you guys what I just recently got from a cherry on top. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because there's some new collections in here that I am excited about that I've had my eye on and I finally just got them so i wanted to share with you guys what i got so of course i will do a flip through of the collections because they are new i've never had them before um and i don't i've never like seen them i didn't watch any videos on them or anything so i'm excited to see them just as much as you guys are so i'm gonna have everything linked down below it's from a cherry on top don't forget to use my referral id if it is your first time shopping there because you automatically get five dollars off your next purchase you get like a thousand points and that's five dollars off and then anytime you shop there you also build points as well and then you could use that towards your purchases so i love a cherry on top for that reason i love that they have like a point system and then you could get money off your orders all right guys so let's get started and i'll show you guys what i picked up So one of the new collections is called Graduation. It's by Echo Park. So of course I had to get my hands on this. Not like I do a lot of graduation crafting, but I was excited for it. It looks really cute. So let's open up this six by six paper pad and let's do like a little flip through. Um, obviously the collection kit is gonna be very similar, but there are usually some differences. So I will show you guys both. So the six by six, I was thinking of making like those little card folios that I like to make, the trifold card folios. Um, that is a tutorial by Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy, and I just love making them. And they're perfect for all the occasions. So on this first page here, you have some full three by four size cut aparts, and then like some like strips, like paper strips that you could add as decoration on even on the inside of a card would look very nice. The back side is this like um, black and white plaid. Another two cut aparts, three by four size. And then you have some, what are these? Three by three size cut aparts. And this is graduation hats on the back. This one is just a decoration. More three by three size cut aparts here. And the back side has like these diplomas. More, um, this is three by four size cut aparts with little cut aparts here. So if this is four, this is two by three. And then the back side are those stars. Wow, there's a lot of cut aparts. Are these all cut aparts? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of cut aparts. How am I gonna know which ones to use? Like that, that is rough. I feel like, I hope I got a separate sheet of cut aparts. Um, but more cut aparts here. It says this calls for a huge celebration, wishing you a happy graduation. And you got these little like tag things that you could add and decorate on an album. Um, and then the back side of that is these little like hats and diplomas. Then you have three by three size cut aparts here, class of whatever. I like how they don't have the year. I've seen some collections that have the year, and if you don't use them that year, if you don't sell something, then I mean, you can't really reuse it. Um, then you've got these stars here shine on and keep reaching for the stars. That is cute. More three by four size cut aparts, and a couple of like um, cut up parts that you could cut up and use as ephemera. And the back side of that one is just like this brown kind of crafty color. I guess it's kind of like, it kind of looks maybe like a little shimmery, um, like a golden brown, I guess. More three by four size cut aparts again. I don't know when this repeats, but I haven't seen any repeating back pages. So gray on the back here and then three by four cut aparts. This one has a, uh, like the brown plaid design. And then you've got this one. I think they're all different. Are these all? Oh, nope. Here we are. Now we're back to the front. And that page has a black background. So now we're back to the front. Yeah. So this is going to be hard to use. That Each page has some kind of cutter parts, which I love because I love cutter parts. But at the same time, I also want to use the designs. So that's going to be rough. I did also pick up the ephemera. So this is what the ephemera looks like. Um, I keep taking out your ephemera because they're such little pieces, but I'll show you guys a few. So, we're so proud of you, graduate. Reach for the stars. Class of whatever. 
your your amazing future starts now that's cute this is kind of cut off it says amazing future um, the tassels worth the hassle congrats grad hip hip hooray grad um, so a bunch, a bunch of like um, obviously graduation things because it is a graduation collection so those are the ephemera they are slightly on the bigger side so you might want to use them as like tuck spots or things like that I did get the solids I'm not going to share that but it's just the solids that go with the collection if you like that got the golden brown a darker gray a lighter gray a dark dark gray a super light gray and then a black so I wanted to get that because I was thinking waterfalls and then it looks like I did get some spare cut aparts so I could just use these two sheets of cut aparts instead of the ones in the um, paper pad even though they are the same these were in there except maybe this one graduation is just one more reason to be proud of you I don't remember if I saw that one in there um, but I could use these and then use all the pages from the six by six. So I got that. And then here is the collection kit. And then I have a Valentine's Day one to show you guys also like a new Valentine's Day one. That's very exciting. Oh yeah, this is gold. Look how pretty that gold is. I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So this is the collection kit here. And so you've got the three by four cut aparts with the back side. You get two of each. Um, there's this one. This one is, I don't know, what is this? Four by three size cut aparts. Yeah, just facing the other way. Oh, that's cool. You get some horizontal ones instead of vertical. So there you go. That's, wait, so these aren't, yeah, they are three by four. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, you get some different ones. That's pretty cool. So then the back side is the graduation hats, the caps, and you get two of those. Then this one has a couple of four by six cut aparts here, then some, an, another one here, and then like some different sized kind of things. Wow, this collection is really all cut aparts. <laughs> and then this is the back. And then there's these that are, what are these, four by four? four, eight, 12. Yeah, these are four by four size cut aparts. I mean, there's a ton you could do because you have all these uh, different size cut aparts. So I do love that. But I also like like how neutral the collection is. And that's got little diplomas. Four by six horizontal cut aparts here. And you've got these, those like golden crafty stars on the back. It's not like shiny, but like maybe a little shimmery in my opinion. Um, four by six vertical cut aparts and obviously you get two of those and then the back side you got the diplomas and the hats I think these would be best for like smaller albums nothing too big because there isn't a lot of different variations for the patterns but definitely something on the smaller side just to have a, like a few photos or whatever to um, have that as a memory and then here are the stickers and the sticker sheet. This graduation thing is humongous. <laughs> That's like more than half the sticker sheet. But like these are pretty. They have like some shine to them. Maybe it's just like the gloss on top of the thing. But no, they're, they're different in the light. I don't know if you guys could tell. They definitely are like shinier in the light reflection. So it is more of like a golden. But you've got a bunch of like stickers here to use as ephemera, to use as tuck spots, whatever you want to do. Um, and I do like that there's a bunch of like words. Even though I wish there was like maybe some more caps. I mean, there is a good amount of caps and things actually. But yeah, so that is the graduation collection um, by Echo Park. So there's that one. And then the other collection that I got is not by Echo Park but it is by Photoplay. There was one um, by Echo Park, I think it was, or maybe it was Cartabella that I wanted, but by the time I checked out, it was out of stock. So I got this one called Cupid's Sweetheart. This one was in my cart too, but this one wasn't out of stock. There was like two left when I was shopping, so maybe they restocked now. But this is by Photoplay, and I normally don't get like Photoplay collections. I'm usually like, I don't know, usually I get like a bunch of Echo Park I find, but this one I really liked so let's show you guys and I don't know if you guys are familiar with photo play paper but it's like very like smooth 
Um, so that's nice. It's not slippery, but smooth for sure. Um, so this one has cut aparts on this sheet. Um, you got some three by four size cut aparts, and then I see a couple of four by six vertical size cut aparts. Um, so that's nice. And it looks like you get two of each of these as well. And the back side looks like this. So I thought it was more traditional looking at the front cover. I didn't really see too many yellows. Um, but I'm seeing quite a bit of like yellows pop throughout here. Pinks, reds, and yellows. Um, then there's this one. You could use these as ephemera pieces, which I will probably use the other side first. And whatever scraps I have, I will cut through these and see if I could pick out any like ephemera pieces from my scraps. But I probably will use the back side before I use this side like I'm not gonna specifically cut out a piece I'm just gonna use my scraps left over later on I'm trying to show you guys that um, so the back side is these hearts you've got like these larger hearts and smaller hearts and that is a very cute background then you've got like this golden reddish peachy kind of floral page and then the back side is like this uh, red neutrally designed but it's got like some darker shades in here as well if you guys could tell then we've got some sweet hearts all over whites pinks yellows and reds and then the back side oh this is music paper i'm trying to show you guys this is music paper but it's not like too like you know like it's more like a neutral background paper and i really like that then there's this page that has a bunch of like these sentiments that, again, I will probably use as embellishments once I use the other side. And I might use this too, like especially if I'm going to use, I don't know, maybe I would have like a waterfall on this page with a bunch of different colors. I might use this as a background um, and I do like it a lot. But I'm saying like whatever leftover pieces you could definitely use as your camera and embellishments. And then the other side, you've got like these sandwich cookies, which I don't know, are those supposed to be macarons because they look really big for macarons. And um, you've also got these cupcakes. So those are pretty. This is an interesting design, but you know what? Standalone, this would be a nice background on a card. It looks like a bunch of pieced together kind of things. You could have a cut apart on the front. It looks pretty, but I probably would not use this in an album. That's just way too busy for me in an album but this other side is nice with um the polka dots so there's that and then the sticker sheet looks like this i like how there's a bunch of like smaller pieces i could use to decorate i love this that says love you forever there's my dog barking <laughs> um hold on okay sorry about that guys um, so then there's like this banner here. I like these little word things. I love having, having like the smaller words to put throughout. Um, I like the sweethearts. I like this little truck. I know a lot of you guys like the trucks. Um, but yeah, so there's, I like how they're not as huge as the graduation ones. The graduation ones just were very big. But then again, two different companies. One's Photoplay, one's Echo Park. So that is everything that I picked up from A Cherry on Top. It's not a big haul, but I definitely got a couple of new collections that I wanted to share with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to pick up anything new. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!